I'll ask it, Ryan, because you just don't want to. <laughs> okay. How'd you get out of the mindset of the tying goal to get the team back on track for the winning goal? You know what? I, I to be honest, like I just felt like we were playing so well, and um, you know, I, I turned to Byron Poole actually and said, "We're going to win overtime." And you know, I haven't said that in any other overtime all year. I just I had the feeling that um, our guys had a renewed energy and. Uh, to be honest, in the third period, I thought, um, you know, besides the, the high stick, no goal, goal, whatever it ended up being, um, that was one of their few scoring chances. You know, I thought we played a really good period. And it just you kind of felt like it's coming. And that's a danger in, in hockey when you score that goal. You think that, you know, you're going to gain energy. And, um, you know, sometimes it's the other team that gets a renewed jolt and they want to finish that deal off. So, um, you know, we just got, we got a resilient team. I think you've seen it all year. Early in the year, it was... Uh, a win and a loss and a win and a loss and a win. Now you're seeing it within games where we can come at, you know, that's the first time they've been beaten all year when they score first. So we, you know, overcame that hurdle and then overcame the one at the end of the game to win the game. So real proud of the guys. On the tying goal, what was the explanation? Did they give you? Um, they, they said, my, my question was, it was the initial call was no goal. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I can't see, I don't, obviously I don't see, didn't see the replay. Um, you know, if it's indisputable, which I hope it is, mm -hmm. that it's a goal, then, um, then they made the right call. Um, if it's, you know, a close call, um, you know, I, I I just hope it was indisputable. I hope that, I hope, I hope it was a goal, and I hope when I watch it, and then I asked them again, and they were, um, to be honest, to their credit, they were very, very definitive that it was no goal. So when both guys say that, uh, probably was, probably, or they were definitive it was a goal. So both guys probably uh, agreed on it, and it probably was a goal. Bill Belus seems to be like that guy who's in the right spot at the right time. Um, is that how you see it, or how would you describe his play? I think he's just a good hockey player. Um, you know, I, I think um, you know he's he, sometimes that in games when he may, he maybe not might not play as well as we'd hope, and and um, you know maybe it's it's um, you know sometimes people might call it casual. Um, I just I think Phil just enjoys the big moments, you know, and um, he. he his heart rate doesn't elevate too much, you know. And at, at times, I think, you know, maybe early in the year, especially where he played great, and he had a little bit of a lull, and um, now he's back, you know, because because he does have such a little panic point that, I mean, you want him on the rink, and you know, he made a couple plays even in the second period, I think it was, where where he pulled the puck right by the guy in the blue line, um, you know, we have confidence he can make those plays, and you know, the goal was, I was I hope I was just hoping they had enough juice in their legs. Um, you know, because they've been out there for a little bit, but um, you know, it's, it's, it's honestly, it's like a drill we do, two on one, four on two, and we just we want to play offense and we want our D to get active. And um, you know, I've seen him score a lot in practice from that moment, and um, you know, he had a, a nice shot tonight. So um, again, I'm, I'm I'm proud of where our, where our group's at. What do you think of Tolman tonight? Or over the weekend as well? Outstanding. Yep, outstanding. Um, you know, I. I Either goal, the first one banks off our skate, and the second one is is, is a you know a deflection. And in, there was again, there was moments in the game where um, you know whether it was tied or we were down a goal, he made some really really big saves. Um, you know that that's the goalie I expect out of him. And um, I talked to him this week about it. I said, hey, it's time now. You know, it's time to put your foot in the sand and uh, take over. And, um, you know what he did. What did it take? This was a big weekend. Let me ask the guys this. What did it take to get a sweep on a team like that? Well, you know, I, I think we've talked about it in the press conference on, on Wednesday. It was who was going to get to their game faster. Um, you know, and I thought last last night we got to our game, you know, very quick. And um, tonight it took a little bit of time. And, you know, we were resilient. And, uh, you know, the thing that I said to him before the game is all the keys are the same. You know, we need to play fast. We need to be competitive. Uh, we need to start on time. But tonight we got to be tough. You know, this is going to take toughness tonight to sweep this team, and um, you know what? We mental toughness and physical toughness, but both both sides of it. And um, you know what? Our guys responded. How do you make sure this carries over to Lake State next week? It's a rivalry. You know, I, I don't think in, in rivalry games, I don't think that you should probably have to give them much. But um, you know, it, it's not even so much the wins; it's the way we're playing. You know, and I, I mentioned to the staff after the first period, I said. Because I didn't like our start. I didn't think we, we played. I thought we played nervous to start the game. Um, I said, I, I, whatever happens in the game is going to happen. We're going to win, you're going to lose. You know, that's going to happen. I just hope we can find our game 
so that we can you know have another good another good outing again and then when you have continuous good outings you know you're going to win your fair share of them so um you know i'm I, the outcome is obviously important and we're you know we we're, we're viewed and judged on our wins and losses but um playing the game the right way and playing wildcat hockey and playing fast and competitive i just wanted to see that you know and i think we need to now just continue through that next weekend and, um you know hey it's going to be rivalry games are tough you know no matter what they're going to they're going to be tough games i realize first place is better than second place but how does second place sound after this weekend second place sounds good Thanks, man.